Hi guys, um, this is a video kind of for anyone who's kind of going to be going through the chemotherapy road. Um, specifically, my one is ABVD, which is for treating Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, there's different treatments for different types of lymphoma and such and such, so there could be a chance that yours would vary. So this isn't. You know, don't go off definite what I'm saying to you today is going to be what's going to happen to you because it might not, it might be different chemo altogether. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of just a what to kind of expect kind of thing because I remember before um, when I got that first diagnosed, I was kind of looking around, kind of looking for something that kind of gave me a heads up of what, the, what was kind of ahead of me kind of thing. Um, and I didn't kind of find out what I was looking for, what I needed at the time. So I'm hopefully this is going to answer some questions that some of you may have or any queries, anything along those lines. Um, so let's kind of get started with that. Um, we started in, started this January, start of the year, um, had my biopsy, which is there. Um, so the first kind of side effects I had was, it's kind of, the best way I would describe it to you is like a, a really bad hangover. That's the first kind of thing I'd say you kind of feel, um, well, this is, again, this, I'm not saying everyone's going to feel the same, everyone will be different, you know, different people react different ways to different symptoms, what happens to different people, such and such, gone, so and so. Um, for mine were, um, the first time I had chemo, I felt really, I felt like I was full kind of thing, so I had the chemo in the, in the, in the afternoon, and by the evening, 10 o'clock, you know, five, six hours later, I started kicking in a bit, um, and I felt really, really bloated, like at a, Obviously, it's never nice to be bloated, but in a really horrible way, really full, quite quite sore. Um, I felt a bit nauseous, um, and I felt quite spaced out. I wasn't with it, and I was, it was okay because I was lying down. I was always trying to sleep at the time. Didn't sleep. I never sleep on my chemo days. The first three nights is always a write-off. And I put it down personally to just the steroids and the drugs and everything that's being injected into you or put into you, whatever. Um, but for me, the first year, the first time I didn't, I just didn't sleep, really groggy, quite rubbish. And then the next, I had it on a, on a Monday, so the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, it was much the same, just didn't feel good. Really, um, really, my stomach swells up. I get quite bloated with, with my chemo. Um, again, that's not, everyone gets that, so it's all different. Um, so it's just like feeling, it's just not, you know you're not feeling right. It's really horrible it's on your stomach kind of thing. Um, I've never got to a point where I felt like I was going to throw up. I've never been sick or anything, which is good. Um, they give you anti-sickness tablets. Um, so I get I get my chemo every two weeks. Everyone will be different. Everyone will have different doses and everything and whatnot. Um, I get quite bad acid on my chemo days because they give you antibi antibiotics as well to take, obviously, to try and keep away infection. But obviously, just it just kind of sits there and it, it does come back up. Um, <clears throat> So acid is a, is another one that's a bit of a pain, pain in the bum, um, but that's the kind of the worst kind of side effects. As as the chemo goes on further down the line, um, I'm I've got I'm two I've got two left to go now. Um, at first I never got the tiredness, um, and not everyone will, or not everyone does. But at first I never got it at all, and now I notice like my chemo um, by the second third day. Mid afternoon, I'm starting to get quite tired. I'm starting to get so I, I'm now sleeping a bit um, during during that time. Um, I can't think what else. You just can't, yeah, you'll know. Obviously, no one wants to go through it, and it's it's not good. Um, the other kind of things that kind of will start kicking in is hair loss. Um, not everyone will lose their hair. Some will, some won't. Some people lose their eyebrows and their eyelashes. Some will, and some won't. Um, as you can see, my hair is pretty short. Um, I never, I, I've always used to have quite, um, you know, styled hair kind of thing. I never had anything this short in my life. Um, but lucky enough, my eyebrows are still there, but they have gone quite a lot. I used to have quite thick eyebrows. Um, they've gone quite a lot. Um, and I've still got my eyelashes at the moment, as far as I can see. Your beard may not go. Um, it may go. Um, I've lost my armpit hair, which is a weird one. I never expected that. Um, leg hair and arm hair and body hair, all that kind of stuff. Nothing's, nothing's gone apart from my armpits, which doesn't bother me. Um, I know the kind of losing your hair is a big thing for me. I took, I used to, I said, I used to have quite longish hair. Well, not long hair like down here, like you know, like a do kind of thing. 
Um, and before the chemo started, I kind of took it upon myself to shave my head because I, I felt like I was taking the control back. Because um, obviously cancer is, is nasty and it's, you know, um, doesn't discriminate and all that kind of stuff and it's, it's horrible. And um, I thought by shaving my own hair, taking it, taking it away before the chemo does was kind of like taking something back for myself. Um, so I've done that. Then I've kind of, I've kept it short ever since. So, um, you know, you can't expect to lose your hair. It will grow back. As, it's, as you can see, mine is coming, going back. And I never lost mine totally, so it just kind of, um, it thins out. And I could probably grow it back now, but it's, it's, it goes really thin. So if you've ever seen like Lord of the Rings, like Gollum's kind of thing, it's kind of like that. It's quite streaky. And so at the moment, until I'm finished, I just keep it short. Um, it's easier. Um, the other kind of thing I want to kind of touch on is not to kind of, think because you've got cancer or because you're doing chemo that, that that's it well it's, it's really not um you, you can't get into your head that this is it this is then this you're done kind of thing when it's it, there's more there's more to to life than just this little kind of step you're going to go through now um you will get past that you will beat it um you know you've got to go into this with the right kind of attitude it's not, chemo's not something to be scared of. It's nasty and it's and it's crap, but don't be scared of it because it's not anything too bad. I mean, there's two ways of doing the chemo, there's three ways I think. There's, you can take the pills, um, you can get it, a, a, like a saline drip, so like you do if you're in, if you're dehydrated and you're in a hospital and you're on the drip, you can sit there and it will just, they just feed it in. So you sit there and you, do, you know, they inject you and that's it. And you sit there and it, they keep changing the drugs over and they'll just feed it in. We well, can get what I had, which was a pick line. You can just see the scar there. I used to have a line, which is like a tube that sits here, and it goes within into your vein, or which art vein or artery, no vein it goes into, and it goes up towards your heart. And instead of getting injected every time, they just they put it into the tube and it goes straight through. Um, so that's that's the kind of the ways you do it. Um, but it's not again, it's not something to be scared of. The side effects are nasty, yes, and you know you're gonna feel rubbish for a few days, but don't be scared of it, take it head on, fight it head on and you'll get past it. Um, I mean, when I had the, the pick line in, um, it stops you from doing certain things. I used to play quite a lot of golf and tennis, so it kind of stopped me from doing that for a while. Um, so I've taken it out now and I'm just getting it um, getting injected every two weeks. And I'll sit there with the drips going and I'll change the bag over different, different drugs. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of necessity I suppose to keep you alive but um, just don't be scared of it um, fight it head on and if you've got any any questions you want to send my way or anything like that don't be scared to ask because I'll, I'll help you you know I'll happily answer them um, but yeah thanks for watching and if you could share this um, if it helps other people then you know more the better thank you very much Jay. Eh?